Welcome to a tutorial about on Twine. In this video, I'm going to review an example of using the input macro within Harlow 3.3. So we've now learned that we can use the input and input box macros to accept text input from users. We use the input macro if we want a single line of text, and if we want multiple lines of text, we use the input box macro. So let's look at an example of using the input macro for passwords. So I have four passages here, and they're kind of connected in interesting ways. But let's go ahead and start right here with the start passage. So we're going to find ourselves trapped in a room and then have the ability to examine papers or examine the panel. And if we examine papers, let's look over here. We notice we see three link replace macros. So this will replace the contents of the corresponding hook that is associated with that macro. So when we click the link, we'll see this text, click this link, this text, and this link, this text. Alternatively, we can go over to panel. So examine panel is doing something a little bit different. Similarly with link replace, in this case though, we have the submit text. And then we're doing two different uses of the if macro. In the first case, if the password is 1234, we will have the ability to use the link to the escape passage. If it's not, we'll have the ability to try again. So let's go ahead and play this so we can see it in action. So we find ourselves trapped in a room. On the wall is a small panel with a list of numbers. There is a pile of papers in the corner. So let's go ahead and attempt to examine the panel. Notice right here, we're using the if macro, so we could type something in. So I will type in just 12, which I know is the wrong thing. Click Submit. And notice this is wrong. Try again, which is going to send us back to this passage, so it will refresh everything. But we don't currently know the password. So let's go over to Examine Papers. And we can do each of these in turn. And then we see, oh, the password is 1234. Come back over here. And if we type in 1234 this time, click Submit. We can go to escape and finally escape. So what we've seen in this example is a use of the input macro. So we can accept text input from a user and then use the if macro to check against it. As we saw in the video focused on using the input and input box macros, that we need to check these values. Remember, we usually don't want to show those values or otherwise present those values just in case the user has typed into something. And the reason we need to do that is because, again, Harlow is not checking that values. So we need to keep in mind when we're using them that we need to check them against something and not necessarily show them just to prevent kind of issues that might occur when we a user might input macros or other kind of text effects. The other thing we saw particularly in this example is the use of information that is revealed to the player. So we can use the if macro to again get information, but we have to let the player know that there's information to find. So you will find over here, notice ex examine panel has a link to examine papers and so does examine papers right here. However, once we get to examine panel and we enter the right thing, there is only one link out to escape and escape doesn't go anywhere else. So our knowledge of how links and passages work together can be combined with our existing knowledge of these new macros that we understand. By using all these things together, we can create a kind of simple game or even a more complex game-like experience where the user's always informed about what they need to do. So they need to go find a password, they find the password, they enter the password, and then they escape. Notice in each case, there was always the ability to move between the panel and the papers, move back and forth to find it, but we never really returned to start. And in fact, start was just exposition to explain what we were doing. And similarly, we move to escape, but we don't move out of escape once the game is over. Thanks for watching.